It's absolutely temperamental. It's going to detonate. No, giving me isn't going an astounding opportunity to go for that. The thing is, it very well may be tomorrow. It well indeed may be during this transmission, and it would sparkle like a resulting sun over the James Webb telescope. Lately, it has recognized an astounding 250% expansion in the splendor of the unpleasant Crawley Jew, the red star located at the shoulder of the Orion Nebula. This unconventional approach to acting has ignited energy for an entrancing feature. Some suggest the unforeseen extension in splendor could show that Bug Jew is preparing to go supernova, yet the particular timing remains uncertain. Specialists gauge it could work out soon. Oblige us as we investigate the profundities of space and unravel the secrets enveloping this heavenly monster. Frightening little animal Jews might conceivably reshape how we handle the universe. Despite its name not being ordinarily known, you've probably lauded its wonder. An impressive ruddy shimmer emanating brilliantly at the shoulder of Orion, a conspicuous star group. Scarab Jew's enormity is wavering. When set at the center of our nearby planetary group, its outside surface would extend past Jupiter's orbit. This B star, successfully recognizable, continues to charm us. Dissimilar to most stars, Scarab Jew changes in quality over time because of its closeness to our structure. Named a semi regular variable star, its splendor changes dependably, pushing toward a possible mind blowing breakdown in a vast blast impact. Lately, Scarab Jew has become much more fascinating due to astounding changes in brightness. These distinctions recollect a critical flood on May 20, 2023, when researchers saw an astounding 142% increase in splendor, followed by a later update showing a 150% addition. Andrea Dupree, an astrophysicist from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astronomy, notes that frightening little animal Jews currently ranks as the seventh most remarkable star in the night sky climbing three spots from its normal 10th position from the southern part of the globe. Betelgeuse shines magnificently in the afternoon sky, easily perceptible at the shoulder of the Orion group of stars. Dr. Sarah Webb, an astrophysicist from Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, highlights Scarab Jew's significance. It offers a charming opportunity to study the last stages of a massive star's life, particularly its encounters into red giants right before they explode as supernovae. When frightening little creature Jews finally detonates, it could become incredibly bright for around seven days, possibly extending shadows around the evening. This prospect has both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers eagerly anticipating the event. Heidi Morris, an expert at Los Alamos National Laboratory and leader of the Padaro Space Specialists and Cosmology Club, notes the persistent interest in dreadful Crawley Jews' brightness changes an eccentricity noted for years by different societies. At this moment, Scarab Jew's splendid cycle happens for something like 130 days, far more restricted than its standard multi-day cycle. These quick changes give stargazers a rare chance to study this heavenly quirk in detail, revealing insight into the last stages of a star's life. The strange behavior of frightening little creature Jews started in 2019, at the moment that it violently shed a piece of its outer layer. These changes in splendor are rare for bug Jews, raising questions about whether it will detonate into a cosmic explosion. According to a paper produced by Dupree and other researchers from Harvard and the University of California, Berkeley, it will take another 5 to 10 years before Betelgeuse returns to its normally expected multi-day splendor cycle. Since the cutoff clouding, bug Jews has shown its lead concerning light and outward speed, despite its indiscreet behavior. Scarab Jew remains an enormous red supergiant star, going through the final stages of rapid progression as it depletes its fuel. The core will fall under its enormous mass, leading to an infinite blast impact that could cover entire systems. The timing of this effect is uncertain, as shown by Dr. Doc, a professor of cosmology at the University of Portsmouth. Predicting supernova events remains challenging, given the limited historical data and the complexity of stellar evolution. Bug Jew is currently going through fusion processes, continually producing elements like helium, carbon, oxygen, silicon, and iron. As a red giant star, it fuses helium into carbon in its core, a process that takes millions of years. Eventually, it will progress to fuse heavier elements until it can no longer sustain fusion reactions, 
leading to gravitational collapse and potentially forming a black hole or a neutron star. While some speculate about frightening little animal Jews impending explosion, historical records show it has been becoming redder over the past few years, suggesting it may take extensive time before it goes supernova. NASA estimates that Scarab Jew shouldn't explode for another 100,000 years, offering comfort that its impact is unlikely to occur within our lifetimes. Despite the uncertainty in Jew's behavior, it continues to fascinate experts and inspire advancements in how we interpret stellar evolution. Dr. Sarah Webb reminds us to stay open to potential results, even as we recognize the improbable likelihood of seeing bug Jew's explosion within our lives. Remaining mindful of its changes might lead to more scientific breakthroughs, reminding us to keep hope alive for new discoveries in the universe. It's crucial to understand that our observations of frightening little creature Jews are essentially brief glimpses into the past. The light we see from the star is over 600 years old. Speculatively, bug Jews could have already exploded, and we wouldn't yet know about it. While this possibility exists, it is far from certain. History has shown us that our assumptions in space science can be tested. Before 1987, cosmologists believed only red supergiants could go through supernovae. Yet that year, a massive blue star in another galaxy detonated, surprising the scholarly community. There is still much to learn, and surprises could lie ahead. Observing frightening little animal Jews and other massive stars allows us to expand our understanding of how we interpret celestial phenomena. Regardless of the absence of an impending explosion, bug Jews' ongoing behavior is captivating. Its changes between dimming and brightening reveal fascinating physics, and the fact that it pulses on human timescales is remarkable. While insect juice is currently much brighter than expected, in light of, it's a typical multi-day cycle. There's trust it will, at last, revisit this cycle. In any case, it is attempting to do so later. Observations have suggested that Betelgeuse may be in a late stage, or moving close to the furthest limit of the center carbon-consuming cycle. This stage involves the transformation of carbon into heavier parts, like oxygen and magnesium. If this is indeed the case, researchers predict a core breakdown, leading to a cosmic explosion impact that could happen within a couple of years. At any rate, the specific period of Betelgeuse's development remains challenging to determine, and uncertainties persist. The possibility of witnessing Betelgeuse's impact remains unclear, as the carbon-consuming stage can last up to 1,000 years. The study suggesting an approaching impact has not yet been accepted for publication. Nevertheless, considering the potential for Betelgeuse to turn into a supernova is exciting. It would be an exceptional event, visible even during the day, for several days. When the event occurs, the initial signs of the massive blast's appearance will be subtle but evident, with neutrinos sweeping across Earth as high-energy photons escape from the expanding cloud of stellar debris. Betelgeuse will continuously grow brighter in the evening sky, potentially reaching peak brightness 10,000 to 100,000 times its usual magnitude. Within a few weeks, this scene will stagger anyone lucky enough to observe it, marking a crucial point in time in cosmic history. The remnants of Betelgeuse's impact could be as bright as a quarter or a half of a full moon, condensed into a single point of light. Extraordinarily, this brightness would be visible during daylight, creating dramatic darkened regions at night. Estimates suggest it could be 15 to 20 times brighter than Venus, currently the second brightest object in the night sky. The display of Betelgeuse's impact would linger in our view for nearly 100 days, captivating space enthusiasts and offering a unique opportunity to witness the aftermath up close. Fortunately, Betelgeuse's supernova wouldn't pose any threat to humanity, as it is still fundamentally far away. Optics and telescopes would allow us to observe the event for an extended period without harm. At any rate, such a thrilling event wouldn't go unnoticed. Supernovae are often interpreted as ominous signs, and Betelgeuse's demise could stir fascinating reactions worldwide. Astronomers believe it could even reignite widespread interest in stargazing, awakening people from their ignorance on a global scale. Betelgeuse isn't the only red supergiant in our galaxy. Others, like Epsilon Carini, could explode before it does. In fact, our Milky Way should witness a supernova approximately every 50 to 100 years, though we haven't seen one in the last 400 years. At any rate, we have seen the remnants of past impacts, 
suggesting that we are overdue for a major cosmic event. It's only a matter of time before the next star goes supernova for the universe to notice. Betelgeuse's history is rich with significant events, including the dramatic dimming in the fall of 2019. This sudden decrease in brightness baffled astronomers and sparked speculation about its potential impact. Although Betelgeuse's brightness returned to normal by April 2020, the cause of its dimming remained a mystery until further observations shed light on the anomaly. Skywatchers can easily spot Betelgeuse from their own homes, making it an accessible celestial object to engage with. If the supernova happens, we are sure to witness an incredible cosmic performance as we continue to observe Betelgeuse. The star remains a beacon of interest for both professional astronomers and amateur skywatchers alike. The ongoing changes in its brightness offer us unique opportunities to study the cycles occurring inside a dying star. With cutting edge technology, researchers can now observe the star's behavior with a level of accuracy never before possible. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, alongside ground based observatories, are helping unlock more mysteries about this stellar giant. The study of supernovae, like the one that Betelgeuse could ultimately become, has far-reaching implications. Beyond our ability to understand the end stages of a star's life, these explosions are critical for the creation of elements heavier than iron, which are necessary for the formation of planets, life, and the very universe we live in. In many ways, the death of stars like Betelgeuse contributes to the building blocks of the universe, enabling new stars and planets to form from the remnants of their exploded cores. Should Betelgeuse go supernova in our lifetime, it would offer a remarkable and breathtaking opportunity to witness such an event up close. For those fortunate enough to observe it, it would be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. The light from the explosion would outshine all other stars for a brief moment, becoming a fixture in our sky, while astronomers scramble to capture data. Curiously, this potential supernova will not pose a threat to us on Earth. Despite Betelgeuse's enormous size, the distance between us and the star ensures that any radiation produced by the explosion would have little impact on our planet. Instead, the supernova's effects would be most strongly felt by scientists and space enthusiasts observing the phenomenon as it unfolds. This could fuel further advances in space exploration, sparking more investigations into stellar evolution, cosmic explosions, and the mysteries of the universe. Regardless of when it happens, Betelgeuse's eventual explosion will be a pivotal event for astronomy, expanding our knowledge of star death and the life cycles of massive stars. The event may also inspire future generations of astronomers, rekindling interest in the universe and encouraging people to look up and marvel at the vast cosmos.